sadness of bringing the bags over the other side. Hey guys, what's going on? Currently on my way to Oslo. If you haven't already guessed by the title of the video, I just made it very obvious for you. It's running my first Diamond League of the season. Should be really exciting, so I can't wait to get going. Before I bring you guys along and show you a little bit about what I get up to, so let's go. So let me tell you something about being on a plane. The front of the plane is overrated. You want to be at the back. That's where it's happening. So, who needs first class? So I've just landed in Oslo, I'm with the big man, C Money. Yeah, C, yeah. the most important question, not how you're feeling about the race. How are you going to survive a week without playing Fortnite? Oh, that's a good question, man. I hope they have some PlayStation in, in the hotel. I just love in up here, so I can play. We addicted. Hey. Hello. Thank you very much. Oh. So race day is upon us and we're just at breakfast with these guys, the DAS, Laura Muir and Juanita Nora. How are you guys feeling for the race today? Ready to go? Yeah, excited. Good weather. Oh And we just got to have a comment on Dina's failed attempt at tea. Oh, don't. I knew you. When Lisa said you wanted to film, I knew you were going to get this. There's I know, a... that's not how you do it. There was no tea bag. <laughs> that's all right. <laughs> Let's run extra fast to make up for I'll it. I'll try. <laughs> This is the famous carnage of the Diamond League War Map area. This is a also it's quite a unique place actually because it's got two sort of lanes that go around the outside of the stadium which are athletes are gonna be taking advantage of and uh, yeah it's it's quite manic in here. I think athletes say it's more busy and harder to cross a Walmart track at a Diamond League than it is actually trying to cross the road. But yeah, lots of serious faces in here, people getting their game, game faces on and getting ready to go. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do right now. Well, away they go. Very quick into his running there, Aaron Brown in lane six. And certainly a good bend there by Gulia. First half of the bend at least. Certainly going well too is Adam Jamili at the moment. And over in lane two, Amir Webb's had a fabulous bend. This is going to be very tight indeed. But here comes Gulia, the man in white. He's so, so strong. And in six, Aaron Brown is challenging. Gulia's going to take it. Celebrating a couple of metres out. 19.90 plus one metre per second. The meeting record is 1979 by Bolt five years ago. So that wasn't too far away. But that from Guliev confirms his wonderful form. And I always think when he's in contention, he's dangerous because it's almost as though he's almost like a middle distance runner. He gets confidence as the race goes on. In the, in the after the race, 200 meters with these guys. You came, mate. Yeah. <laughs> New PB, finally sub 20. How are you feeling? Yes, sir, bro. I'm feeling over the moon. Yeah. <laughs> this guy. Everyone's off to Stockholm, I think, or Strava. On the train. On that long last train, so yeah, we're feeling good. Nine and three quarters. Oh my god, no, I'm, I'm shutting this off now. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Do the dance, do the PB, do the national record. Hey, good so job. Happy. Yeah, Thanks. how you feeling? I'm over the moon. Yeah, yeah. what's next? It's like Stockholm is next. On the train. On the train. Oh, what is it a five hour train? Yeah, long train. But, but anyway, still, good job. My dream, good job. So, Oslo is finished, heading home now, rocking the uh, Space Jam tee. Um, it was a step in the right direction of where I need to be, another season's best and uh, European qualifier. So I've got one more 100 meters in Ostrava and then trials, so it's gonna be good. Thank you very much, Oslo, and until next time.